Hi everyone and once again welcome back to Travel Confidently. If you're planning a road trip to Manali and wondering would it be safe to drive and how the roads would look like and similar queries then this video is for you. Do watch the video till the end to know all the tips and tricks to make a confident road trip to Manali. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so as you don't miss any future videos. Manali is a beautiful tourist town nested in the Himalayan mountains of the Indian state of Himachal Pradesh near the northern end of Kulu Valley. Manali is 538 km from Delhi depending on where you live so that's approximate figure and it will take you circa about 13 hours non-stop and for 13 hours you can easily add 3 hours uh, for stops and traffic. If you are driving from Chandigarh the drive would comprise of approximately 350 km and it will take you non-stop 9.5 hours uh, but you can easily add 2 to 2.5 hours for stops and breaks. There are different routes which you can choose but uh, I would suggest uh, choose uh, the route which goes from uh, Baddi. It will take you directly to Swarkat and then to Bilaspur. Regardless of the fact whether you are coming from Delhi or Punjab or Haryana, after Bilaspur it's likely your way would be the same and that's what you are seeing on the video. One tip, don't be impatient, so don't rush to overtake uh, when you are driving in the mountains. In most of the cases you will find that a truck driver would give you a sign when it's safe to overtake, then you can uh, overtake, otherwise don't rush. Road from Bilaspur to Sundarnagar is wide enough, I didn't find it risky even though I was driving it for the first time on the Him Indian mountains. There are a couple of rules which I would suggest you should stick to it. Stick to left, don't rush and if you find it safe only then you overtake. Watch your speed depending on the road conditions. If you don't feel safe then don't, don't over speed. And if you are driving in the night or you are driving in the rain, do take extra care because landslide can happen or they, you might find some rocks falling from the mountains.
one tip keep your eyes open and do actually watch the road signs rather than just trusting on google because i've found that there were a couple of points where google were taking me from a different directions whereas there is a new road which has been developed and google hadn't taken that into account so you have to watch road signs more than you trust your uh, satellite navigation government is trying to make a four-lane highway whether it's from Delhi to Manali or Chandigarh to Manali that's why after Sundarnagar there is a lot of road work going on and it will add easily one to two hours to your journey and probably break your car if you're traveling in a sedan so coming to Manali in an SUV is definitely a good idea and if it's a 4x4 it's definitely a plus point especially to go higher up in the mountains not sure how long this will last uh, but once this road work is complete it would be a absolute gorgeous highway to drive on it will last like this till Kulu and after Kulu you will get the glimpse that once the road work is finished how good the drive would be to Manali. Another tip which you might receive from many of your friends is that, that you should drive in the night and it would be good but I wouldn't suggest it because the road is so bad you at least need to see what is in front of you so do take extra time in the day to travel to Manali. And yes, forget to mention uh, that there are certain patches where they stop the travel uh, to do the road works. So you might expect that you are just waiting in the traffic for about 20 or 30 minutes.
if you are tired and looking for a break then i would suggest go past kulu then on the highway uh, you would see river bias on your left and there would be a really nice scenery where you can just take a break roads and views both are amazing once you pass kulu like and it would be be just better and better as you approach manali i'm just sitting here i got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be in the great outdoor forever free If you are taking the route which I have suggested earlier then you would find there would be only one toll just before Manali and there would also be a green tax I think that's what they call it uh, which is of 200 rupees which you have to pay when you will enter the Manali and it will be valid for 7 days. I hope you have found this video helpful to get some of your queries uh, answered and if you still have some questions in your mind then please do comment below and I'll be happy to help. Till then. Travel safe, happy traveling.